Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tara here, and I thought I would do a weekly reading for Leo. 1st of June, can you believe it? So it's just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Watch your sun, moon, rising sign. Do all that. Cusp sign. Often give it, gives you messages that um, the other signs don't. So that's what I, I do. So Leo, Leo, what is going on? What do we need to know for the week? What are the messages for Leo? Leo, Leo. Hangman. So Sag had the hangman as well. Um, in limbo for some reason. Um, hopefully, you know, as the cards come out, you're coming out of that limbo. Or why are you stuck? What's happening? Is it to do with COVID? Is it to do with just something happening in your life that you're feeling stuck? something that you're really trying to reflect on or something that you're working on. Maybe it's a project and you're just having to take a lot of time to make sure it's right. You know, whoever's studying um, now, um, you know, it's harder when you don't have a teacher in front of you. So people have to really work hard to put es essays and assignments in because you're not having that motivation by going to school, you're at home. Um, four of Wands. So this is about home. So is there something at home or you feel in limbo? Maybe, as I said, because people are studying at home, um, they're finding it a bit harder to put the message across or get their, um, their essays in, you know. But whatever it is so far, there's just something that's in limbo at home. Ace of Swords, which is about um, the truth being spoken. It's about victory, success. So maybe, you know, what you're doing at home is going to bring you victory and success. Something that you're doing within the home. You're achieving something within the home. That's exciting. But, you know, it's because you've worked on it. Victory and success within the home. The truth coming out about what's happening in the home. Knight of Pentacles, reversed. Mm. Someone not pulling their weight at home. Someone not um, um, paying their fair share at home. Maybe it's a teenager. Maybe this teenager thinks that they um, deserve a free ride, but maybe they're not even a teen teenager anymore. Maybe they're getting older than that, and it's like you know, some it's it's time that. You know, maybe with the um, Ace of Swords, it's maybe it's time that there's that real conversation had with a teenager or, or a kid, a young adult, about moving out. Maybe it's time that, you know, sometimes some people really need the message spelled out to them. They can't, they won't, they won't get it on their own. They, they don't take the hints. So maybe for you, Leo, it's, it's really about having to tell this person or kid, um, that it's time to move on because they, they just won't get the hints. What else is there? Knight of Cups. Oh, you know, sometimes I feel the message I'm getting is someone's sort of trying to blackmail you a little bit. But it's costing you. We have don't it's costing you having this person here. So, you know, don't be blackmailed and them offering you, you know, oh mum and dad and please. Because I don't see it's to me, it's not a love reading, and often the Knight of um, Cups is an offer, like an emotional offer. But I think someone's sort of blackmailing you a little bit. Mom, what would I do, and what, where would I go, and what am I gonna, how am I gonna eat? And but you know, people have to grow up. Two of Cups. Oh well, you know that is a a card of love or soulmates or love coming in. Maybe I don't know. I'll see what else there is. Queen of Cups. What's on the bottom? Oh, okay. Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to get a couple more. Page of Wands reversed. The High Priestess reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Um, okay, so it's sort of, it's going to change a bit here, Leo. Um, it could easily be, there could be a couple of messages here where someone needs to move out and they don't want to because they're being able to get away with, um, latching on for too long but they've got to move on there's another bit hmm. see every time I yawn there's a stronger message coming through and if I yawn consecutively and over and over that means spirits really around trying to pass on a message to you 
um, this could be um, something to do with a, a relationship that you're trying to actually break free from, but this person won't um, let you break free. This person wants to keep you in limbo, but you, and, but you want to move on. This person, when this was in the upright, this person had all the um, right um, things to say. Um, they gave, they, you know, this is about a, illusion, the Seven of Cups, options. This person gave you options that really were empty. Now you can see that. Seven of Swords is the liar, cheater, thief. It's reversed. The truth about this person has come out. And now I think that they're really giving you a hard time. High Priestess reversed. They want to throw you off your game, Leo. They want to keep you in limbo because they want to come back into the fold. And it's really, they're either emotionally draining. It could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with or a water sign. But they're either emotionally draining, emotionally manipulative, or because it could be a female too, even though it's it's a queen. It, it might not be, but this could be you feeling just emotionally drained by this person that you can't break free from. One minute they're okay, next minute they're not. You know, they might be might be saying to you that they've got no money, nowhere else to go, please, you know, please. But this person's keeping you stuck. Oh, gosh. See? Every time I yawn. That's, you know. Oh, this person's so draining. I actually feel the energy draining from me. God. I just see what the Seven of Swords is, because I don't like the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords in this deck? service this person could have been stealing from where they work um, and they got caught and you could get involved unfortunately what is the um what is the truth what's the truth coming out the ace of swords what is this truth what is this truth coming out sweetheart conversation there could be some, um, you could have caught this person um, cheating, sending messages to other people. You could have caught this person um, doing something that they shouldn't have done. Yeah, this person's, and again, you know, it's weird how that happens. It just, it really zaps my energy when uh, a message like this comes in. So um, someone is emotionally draining you this week. Um, hopefully you get some kind of, um, or someone might come in and help you um, get rid of this person from your home. They, they might have lived with you. You know, there's a saying, guys, no one falls in love faster than a narcissist looking for somewhere to live. So they will love bomb you, love bomb you, love bomb you until you don't know what's going on, until you are completely delusional and, and so in love yourself. And then the truth about who they are comes out. But you're already stuck. They live with you. So, you know, there's a message for everyone. Don't ever rush into a relationship until you really get to know someone. Don't let someone move in with you that quickly. Because then you're trapped. And that's what this person wanted. They wanted you to be trapped and just discombobulated completely. Thrown off, you know, like your intuition out the door. Page of Wands, passionate cheating. I mean, passion for all the wrong things. Broke, broke ass, promiscuous person. Coming into your house, draining your energy, draining your soul. And that's what people like this do. So Leo, hopefully this week um, you can get rid of this person or, or get some kind of help. Getting rid of this asshole. I, I just narcissists are just scum. Sorry, they're oxygen thieves. They willfully go out of their way to to because they're not happy, because they um don't ever actually have real love in their lives because they're so fake. All they want to do is cause drama and chaos and hurt people. And then sometimes it can get to the point where they actually physically they don't just emotionally hurt you, they physically can hurt you too. So they're just, they're just evil. 
So, you know, if you're out, get out, or you're going to find out this week that this person's not who they say they are. Something's going to come to light with a message coming in that this person is not who they've told you that they are. And hopefully you'll get out as fast as you can. Resolve. Tree spider orchids. So this is from the Australian Wildflowers um, Reading Deck. You know, hopefully you can resolve this issue, and that's what you want. You want this person out. You want the locks changed. Um, you want them gone from your life. And as you know, the faster you do that, the better. When this is resolved, you can move on and heal from this person who gave you false, you know, spider too. What do spiders do? They spin a web to trap people, to trap prey, to trap food. To trap what they want. They spin a web of lies. Narcissists. Guys. Okay. Um, Leo. Get out as fast as you can. Okay. That's my advice. 